In this lesson, I'm gonna get you playing blues guitar in under 10 minutes. Let's get started. All right, so we got that timer going. Let's dive right into this. So this is a 12 bar blues shuffle in the key of E. So shuffle is very important because the rhythm of this is gonna be like, you know, the cowboy blues sort of shuffle rhythm, right? So it's not a straight rhythm like this. It's a shuffle like this. So if you need to, just kind of, you know, just to get the hang of it, uh, you can just mute your strings and just kind of pick in that sort of rhythm. Like. So just kind of almost think of it like drums, right? Just like, bonk, 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 right? So that's going to be the vibe of this entire piece. So keep that in mind. So let's start with the very first part. We're going to be over the one chord in the progression. So we start off with the low E string and our first finger on the second fret of the A string. Right? And I kind of like to palm mute this part just because it just adds to the rhythm of it. And we're going to play this twice. Right? And then we play with the uh, our third finger on the fourth fret of the A string. And then we go back to the second fret on the A string and we play that twice. So, so far we have... Right? And then we're going to play a little lick. We're going to do open low E, open G, hammer on to first fret on G, and then open high E. So it's like this. There we go. Now, the cool thing about this is it's based on a open E7 chord, right? And the cool thing is that, you know, we use open strings, it's an open chord. So if being precise on playing is a little much, you can actually hit other open strings, even if by accident, and they'll still technically work, you know? It actually kind of adds some body to it. So if you want to do it that way, you can actually get away with it because we're using that open chord. So keep that in mind, you know? And we play that through once, right? And then the second time around, we're going to keep the rhythm going, but then we're changing up the little thing at the end. So we're doing bonk, a bonk, a bonk, right? Same old, same old, same old, right? As before. And then we're going to, with our second finger, play the third fret of the low E string, give it a slight quarter step bend. And then with our first finger, play the second fret of the D string. All right, and that's how we end it there. So, so far we have two bars of the 12 bar blues and those first two bars are repeated again. So we actually have covered four bars. So they just happen in that order. So we do the first bar, second bar, third bar, fourth bar, All right? And then that leads us right into the four chord, which is A in this case. And we're gonna do the same thing, right? Like what we were doing with uh, on the one chord with the uh, the low E. Doing that with A now. So first finger is going to be on the second fret of the D string. We play that same rhythm, right? All right, so we're doing bonk, a bonk, a bonk, all right? And then we're going to form the open A7 chord. Now, since we're playing in this position, you know, we want to form it like this. Use our second finger to play the second fret on the B string, right? And it's essentially the bottom five strings. That's the full open A7 chord. But what we're gonna do is just play like the top half of it. We're gonna go. All right, so we just kind of strum through it, right? And then we play that open high E string. And then we come right back to the rhythm. So we're going. All right, and then we go. So for this one, it's more or less a derivative of what we just did, right? But we're going bonka, bonka, right? So we're doing one, two, one on this, right? One, two, so it's, all right, I'm sorry, we're doing uh, one, two, one, and then one of these before we kind of, uh, we're gonna skip, you know, uh, uh, um, go in a beat early, right? So we're going, and then for this part, once we do bonka, bonka, right? We're going to play, uh, we're gonna keep our first finger here, and then our third finger is gonna play the third fret of the high E string, and we're gonna play the bottom, uh, three strings here and by itself it sounds a little weird but when you play it fast in context it just kind of gives it that open string kind of attitude right so we go and then you're going to play the open high e string then you're going to play third fret of the b string all right and then open high e again so when it, when it's done you know in time it's oops sorry there we go so we're going just like that all right, then we come back to the one chord 
And guess what? We're going to repeat one of the measures we've already done. So we're going that we're doing this one. All right. And then we're going to play another measure that's going to lead us into the five chord. And it changes up a little bit. So when we do that last measure there. Oh, sorry. Ah, there it is, right? Then we go. So from there, we're going to play the bonka, bonka, bonka. Then we go open A, first fret, second fret, all in the A string. All right, so we're doing two, four, two. And then once we've reached the second fret, we've pretty much signaled our way into the five chord. We're gonna form a B7, open B7 chord, which is gonna be second fret on the A string, first fret on the D string, uh, second fret on the G string, open B, and then our pinky is going to be on the second fret of the high E string. And the way we play through this, once we walk into it, what I'm doing is, I'm doing, uh, then I'm playing G string, then D string, then B string, and then D, G, B. Oh, sorry, it's, uh, I'm sorry, it's, G, D, G, all right, so we're going. Now the cool thing, again, because we're already, we form the chord and as long as we're keeping the rhythm, it doesn't really matter exactly what notes you play. You can play it in a different order if you want to, like, or you can do something like, whatever happens, like you're, you're actually playing all the right notes because you're forming the chord as long as you're keeping time. But of course, in accordance with the tab, we're going, all right, then we form an A7 chord and we go, we're just going to play like, you know, play through it like that. We're going to arpeggiate. All right, so we're doing the D string, open G, and the B string. All right, and so we're forming the A7 chord with these two fingers. Second finger on second fret of the D string, third finger on the second fret of the B string. Right, so we're going. Then with our pinky, we're going to fret the third fret on the high E string. We're going to play the bottom two strings. All right, get a little dissonant there. Then we do open high E, and then our pinky on the third fret of the B string again, and then open high E again. So all together, when we walk into the five chord, and then we go into the turnaround lick, where we play the open low E string, then open high E string, third finger on the third fret of the B string, sorry, and then open high E again, then second finger, uh, second finger on the second fret of the B string, and then open high E again, first finger on first fret of the B string, open high E again, and then open B. So we're going, so. It sounds great to let those notes ring too. And finally we go open A, first fret, second fret, we form that B7 chord again, and we play the bottom half of it three times. And I like to do it with an up, leading into an upstroke. So we're going, it's like up, down, up. And then of course, it's a 12 bar blues, so we can repeat it as many times as we want. But that is the entire 12 bar blues piece. So let's recap on it for a second. So there you have it. That'll get you playing some blues in under 10 minutes. And of course, if you need to revisit any part of this lesson, feel free to rewind the video and rewatch those parts as many times as it takes till you get it down. If this is your introductory lesson into playing the blues, first of all, I'm honored that you landed on my video. But now that you've gotten a taste of playing blues rhythm guitar, maybe you want to check out playing some blues lead guitar, huh? If that's the case, there's something I want to give you. It's a free blues guitar solo heat map. This will actually show you, like it showed thousands of other guitar players, how to play red hot blues solos all over the fretboard. So be sure to click the link here to grab your copy or check the link in the description box. And if you enjoyed this lesson, be sure to hit that like button and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. 
And if you want to check out our other relevant lessons right here, you might find some licks that will go perfectly with this 12 bar blues in E. I want to thank you for hanging out with me today. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson as much as I've enjoyed bringing it to you. I'm Eddie with Guitar Mastery Method, and I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson.